So yeah, we're gonna swap from the four lug to the five lug. I'm sure you guys have probably seen this before, but this is how I ended up putting these studs in. I took one of these conical lug nuts from the old wheels and this big nut as a, as a spacer, um, you know, to be able to put this together. Man, she does not want to drive these all the way home. Got two left, but I got to let it cool down. I can't tell if it's really the batteries are getting that hot because they are getting hot or if it's just the case of in the, you know, the motor on this thing because it's cooking too. All right. First axle in, studs on. C-clip is in that one. Uh, this one right here, getting ready to put the studs in it. All right, axles in, rear diff cover on. Just gotta fill it up with some lube. Clean them up, throw them on. Uh, the front's gonna happen, you know, next couple of days. Got one of those uh, five lug disc conversion kits from eBay. And I uh, got a lot of good reviews from the guys on the forum. So, you know, I'm thinking it's gonna work out just fine. what's up everybody so here we are on the next day of the five lug conversion you know i've always said that this is one of the hardest things is picking wheels and tires for your car you've got not just the technical aspect of you know wheel backspacing offset you know width fitting fitment under suspension body but also you know you've got a you've got the style factor so we're about to get started on the fronts we're gonna switch this over to five lug so any of you guys out there with the maverick have probably considered this disc brake conversion kit from ebay so yeah here's what you get um you get your hubs those feel like backing plates feels like bolt hardware uh, you got your brake hoses uh, appear to be spacers This feels like calipers, perhaps. And some rotors. All right, so I'm making a little bit of progress here. Um, following the instructions, even though it seems pretty straightforward, but hey, you never know. That's why the guy took the time to put the instructions in there, so. There's the old backing plate. Drums off. New backing plate on. Next will be the hub, you know, caliper. All right, well. Just a shout out to any of you guys with a 70 Maverick um, that's considering doing this brake swap. I'm, I'm on the fence about whether to give a full thumbs up. So far, honestly, so good. Um, but I did run into one issue so far that's gonna cause me to have to stop and go to the parts store, which I didn't expect to do because I thought this kit was, you know, had everything I was gonna need. But when it comes to the brake line, uh, the gentleman who creates these kits um, did send an adapter to uh, to adapt the brake line to I think seven sixteenths. This is the type of hose that uh, normally what you see on your vehicle is like a a tab that comes out, sits on this little ridge, and then these clips go in. And secure it but on a 70 this is how it was attached to the vehicle and the brake line hard line just screwed straight into that so there's nowhere um, to connect it now I get that I could just screw them together and let it kind of lay there you know floppy like you can see here this is where the original hose came up and had a bracket built in that was held on right here and then the hard line just went into it sat in there just like that okay here's where we are these brake lines not for a 70 all you 70 guys out there know exactly what i'm talking about so i'm gonna go ahead and make my own bracket like that so i basically drilled that bigger circle out a little bit and then i used a file to create the a little shape of that and now i'll cut that end off of the bracket here and position it correctly in the car and probably weld it in so that's what 
That's what happens when you got a 70 Maverick. So I think I'll probably, you know, tighten it all the way up and then run screws through there. I got as far as I could go with my disc brake conversion, which I guess technically it's it's done. Uh, disc brakes are on, it's been bled, brackets created, holding well. The problem I did run into though is the wheels that I bought, the very tip top of the back of the rim hits this upper ball joint, just a little bit. But even if it didn't, the wheel sits back in there too far because these wheels have a like a plus 20 millimeter offset and so for that reason the whole wheel sits in there back way too far so it needs to come out uh, it needs to come out about an inch to an inch and a half and i know most uh i know most wheel spacer adapter manufacturers make just such an animal with the right size thread and the right bore and the right studs and all that jazz but i don't have any today so wheels and tires are not going on today that's a wrap okay so we're at cheapies now all right stay tuned kids we're gonna sit through all this The winds were angry that day. It's gonna rain! It's gonna rain! You see, that don't, that don't befront us. No, I ain't gonna melt. We got a real emergency situation going on. Alarm! The Alarm. front of the car is sitting too high and that's just it's not sitting well with me. It's just not sitting well. <laughs> We're going to have to spring into action. <laughs> oh, you're so punny. Uh, I'm not lowering my expectations. <laughs> but what if I wanted to get lifted? Oh, lifting your spirits? So uh, we're, we're going to battle the, the impending tornado just for the ford power tour thing because we can't stomach the front end sitting too high like this so it's all got to come apart all of it all of it again 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 yes yes we've gone from uh four lug to five lug in the back we've gone from four lug drums to five lug disc in the front we've this gone is. we've gone from turbs to tuners and uh, now we're gonna settle the ride height down. I'll settle down. So, you never know what's gonna happen next, Joe. You never know what's gonna happen next. <clears throat> I got Rick rolled in my day off. Gonna need to go ahead and have you get Rick rolled on Sunday. Yeah. Should have went to church. All right then. Oh, there it is. There it is. Yeah, she's still low. It's right there though. Yeah, totally. So stupid. <clears throat> yeah. Damn, that is exactly half coil pretty much. Blamo. Blamo. Look how look how jank this disc is. <laughs> Yes. 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 One. I win. Bum, bum, ba, bum. Bum, bum, ba, bum, 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 <laughs> we kicked its butt, Joe. <laughs> Who got Rick rolled today? Yeah, Maverick even gets Rick rolled. Uh huh. Every once in a while, no one is safe. That's right. Yeah.
Yes! Yes! That's nuts right there. Yep. It is. Yep, which is really good. Yep. That's what we're going for. Yep. And I, I like the way it, uh, like the way it sets up when you hit it. What a victory! We're ready for Ford Fest. I, 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 I got to be careful when I say we're ready for Ford Fest, <laughs> because well, you have the whole factor of you never know what's going to happen yeah, next. Yeah, you never know. And you know, Chuck could get crazy and like decide he wants to do something yeah, before we go, or I don't know, something may break. You just never know what's ha gonna happen next. What do you think, Scotty? I think it's coming together. It's starting to poke out a little bit, isn't it? More and more, day by day. It's a lot of work. Ain't no Mavericks like this one, man. Today. On Mad Junker. Today on Mad Junker. Highly scientific. Oh yeah. Those are not gonna fit through there. We we will have to be drilling. I'm not worried. The question is, do I have a drill bit that says? Oh. And they weigh too big. Well, half the time you have to cut these things down a little bit once you get it all together. No, I mean they're not even oh. the right size U bolt. Well, yeah, that's a universal type. Oh, it's not it may not work. Oh, that's not going to work in the bottom plate at no, all. No, that's not even close, man. This will not work. These are just the wrong ones. That's just that's just the way it's it is. It's all wrong. Yeah, these are just wrong. H have you ever had this happen before, where you start to do something like this and the parts you have are not right? No, never. That's never happened. Never. It's first time. <laughs> all right. Stay tuned. We'll be back after a parts run. So the battle rages on. What, what, what are we doing here, Chuck? More gazintas, Joe would as Joe would say. Gazintas. Okay. Not giving up yet. We're not giving up. So the parts store. We did the lap. Yep. And you can't, you can't wing. You can't wing this. You can't wing U bolts. No, you can't wing it. So what we're doing is we're gonna go ahead and remove one and take it to the parts store with us. Okay, update. So one inch blocks acquired, half of a vehicle's worth of U bolts. Half. Half. Which would be thirteen dash oh one eight zero alpha. Round U bolt kit. Yeah, they only come with two in a box, so. Two in a box. So you gotta get two so boxes. If you only wanna lower half your car, you're good to go. You're good to go. But if you wanna lower your whole car, you're gonna need two of those. And so this will work on a stock Maverick rear end or an 8.8 .8 swap, at least out of a Fox body. Okay. Yes. No fit. That's the only problem. That's why we have Joe. So Junker Joe is gonna drill. Joe's gonna make make it happen, Captain. That's what happens. Harbor Freight got you. Oh, <laughs> she fit. And these would actually work for the two-inch blocks too if we had those still. All right. One inch blocks definitely put it in a pretty good stance. We're gonna drive this bitch all the way to Bowling Green, Kentucky for the Holly Ford Fest. Largest Ford car show and extravaganza in the world. You can Bowling bring it Kentucky. You can bring your LS, but you gotta leave it in the parking lot. You gotta leave it in the parking <laughs> lot. You can drive your LS car, but you gotta leave it in the parking lot. Cletus is gonna be there. Uh, uh, 31 or uh, 1350 video is going to be there. Um, I think Rob Dom is actually going to be there. So uh, it's a star studded event. Star, uh, YouTube star studded event. This car show this next weekend is going to be the culmination of six months plus work. Yeah, on the old Maverick. On the Maverick. So 
Yeah. <laughs> what you got going on here? Radio. And uh, there were haters on the wheels. Oh, there was lots of haters. There was hate. There was hate on these wheels, and I don't get it, man. Well, you know. I mean, I'm looking at it on this on this screen, and come on, man. They, they honestly, here's the thing about the wheels, and I said this to Chuck from minute one when I saw them installed. I said they look like they shouldn't work, but they do. Yeah, they do. They look good, man. It looks. Dude. Yeah. yeah. Alright, that's a wrap. That's a wrap! Oh yeah. Maverick. Oh yeah. Maverick. Maverick. Looking in the mirror, this you is all I saw. What you trying to tell me is you's an outlaw? I'm gonna rug it, so fuck it. Watch my latest trick. Pushing out videos, cause I'm a Maverick. hit the road, fully strung, we're tearing this shit up, it's begun, it's begun, and no one is safe, Chuck got Rick rolled right in his face, <laughs> don't, one more time, you get a took up on the mic, do that one more time, laying down rubber and about to blow these tires, check out the patina while we light the road on fire, the Mav is mean and you hear it screaming from a mile, Hide your Camaro, bro. Drum brakes are fighting for their life. Can't stop, even if I'm trying. 